and there's some hard work. Stephanie Clark is with us. She's with My Daughter's Keeper Incorporated. They support moms and daughters. If you need some help in this regard, they're there for you. Wonderful programs. Good to see you. Hi, Joe. How are you? Important to have you here, which is so good. Thank but let's you. make the most of this five minutes. The mission of your organization. Yes, five years ago I founded My Daughter's Keeper and our mission is to provide support and resources to mothers and caregivers that are raising adolescent and teenage daughters to help strengthen relationships. And we also provide self-development opportunities for women and girls. These ages are what, from 8 to about almost 20, yeah, but 19? The, right. The girls that we generally work with um, are ages 8 to as high as 19. What are some of the programs that you do that have great results? Well, we have various programs that are specific to empowering our young ladies as well as empowering the mother or the caregiver. And then we have programs where we bring them together to address some of their relationship issues to help them identify realistic solutions and some achievable approaches to strengthening their relationship. Um, a few of those programs are, one is our mentoring program. Uh, we do a monthly mentoring activity called Real Rap Session for Teen Girls Only. It meets every first Friday of the month and it's where girls have an opportunity to come to participate in a forum that's very supportive and non-judgmental to address some of the issues and challenges that they face in their daily lives. What are some of those challenges? Oh gosh, peer pressure is one of the major challenges that many of our young ladies are, are confronted with, not just by girls, but by the males, the boys in their lives. Peer pressure to have sex. Um, peer, you know, um, bullying, you know, we have girls um, who hate on each other for no reason at all because one girl may think the other girl is prettier. Um, then we have the issues of sexuality and homosexuality. You know, young, many of our young ladies experimenting with the fact, what, what the lifestyle of being gay. Um, just so many anger management, you know, so many of our young ladies are just angry about different things and that as a result of that anger, it impacts their inability to really function effectively in school and at home. How do you, do, and I can imagine your focus, we have a great need for it just in that alone, but how can you also involve males in this? Uh, how important is it for men to know about the challenges of the girls oh. and, and also for these young ladies to know about real men? and male models out, uh, out there. It's extremely important, Joe. One of the s sad things or disappointing things about many of the young ladies we work with is that they do not have a father figure in their home. Uh, we work with a lot of single moms and the father is out of the picture either because they're incarcerated um, or they've abandoned the family or just because of divorce. And so many of our young ladies are not growing up with a proper male role model. Um, and unfortunately, in many cases, the men that are in their lives, which may be some of the mom's boyfriends or significant other, are not really there to try to be or serve as a role model to our young ladies. So they look at the figures, male figures on television, or they look um, at their boyfriends and they seek validation from boys that they meet in school. And those boys actually probably could use a lot of help to try to understand Absolutely. themselves and to understand Absolutely. gals. You have a book. Life as a single mom, it isn't easy, or is it? This book is available to folks, isn't it? Yes, it is. How? Well, people can go to Amazon.com, or they can visit LifeAsSingleMom.com. Or can you find out more, too, also through MyDaughtersKeeper.org? Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And, and what is the message, really, of this book? Well, the message, well, the title is Life as a Single Mom, It Isn't Easy, or Is It? And it talks about 10 steps to achieving success as a single mom. And although it's written from a perspective um, of a single mom, because I'm a single mom, um, it is the information is applicable to parents, um, whether male or female, raising boys or girls. How important would you say it is to act right now? It's nice to have different ideas, but right now we do need help. Action. Absolutely. It's so important. You know, if I can make a plea to parents, you know, it has to begin at home. It has to start with parents really being proactive. Um, and engaged in their children's lives and interceding when they see that problems are starting to, um, you know, come about in their children's lives. It's wonderful having you with us, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie Joe. Stephanie Clark, My Daughter's Keeper Incorporated. I'm Joe Basicchia. Thank you for watching.